It's time for Roses and Rosé with Becca <laughs> Tilly. How did that feel? Was it? Oh, no, I was kind of nervous. <laughs> and we want to show off your beautiful pants. Oh, thank you. These are from you. your line. They are that from my line. Becca Tilly line available at Macy's. Weird. It's a high-waisted moment. It is a high-waisted. Which I love. I feel like these pants make my waist look skinnier than any other pants I own. I need these. I know. Okay, Becca Tilly, thank you for being here to play Roses and Rosé, Sip or Spill. This is a game where, as you called it, a bit of a twist on it's truth or drink. You can yeah. either answer the question, spill, or take a drink. Sip. So let's get you some rosé. Now, are you a big rosé girl? I love, yeah, rosé is okay, my good. choice. Okay, great. Um, here's my question. Yeah. D when I spill, yeah. do I have to elaborate on my answer? I would prefer an elaboration, <laughs> but let's go on a journey, <laughs> as they say. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So we do a Let's little sip cheers to cheer. kick it off. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. I have lipstick on my glass. I started drinking it before you got here. Yeah, oh. She didn't even pour me a glass yet. She was Here's already drinking. It's like, let me, <laughs> let me get ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So we've got a varietal of questions for you here today, babe. We got some questions about your life, some Bachelor Nation stuff. Let's get to it. First of all, Bachelor Nation questions. We'll start off in the past and move to the future. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so I don't even think people realize I was on The Bachelor. And you're like, what? people. You were on it twice. I know, but people don't remember me from Chris's season. They only remember me mostly from Ben's, I feel like. Interesting. I know, and I got further on Chris's season. People come up to you more for that season. Yeah. Okay, one of our questions sip or spill, who were you more into, Chris or Ben? I was more into Ben simply because I went back on the show yeah. because I wanted to date him, you know? You Whereas knew Chris what was happening. Chris was kind of like, oh, this is a cool opportunity, let's see what happens. And I liked him, but it took a little longer to get there, whereas I kind of already liked Ben yeah. going into it. By, by the way, every time you answer, I have to drink. Oh, th oh, this I is I play the twist. game with you. It's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is your biggest pet peeve about fellow Bachelor Nation alumni? Something that it annoys you that people do this or act like this, say this thing? I think probably the thing that I notice the most is the idea that um, the level of celebrity that I think some have after the show, which I will say things have taken a turn since my season, and I do think the more recent seasons they are kind of like yeah. more celebrities. They're dating celebrities. <laughs> They're dating They're celebrities. They're dating supermodels. So maybe more from like my seasons. Do you mean people having that celebrity having at all? Having a little bit of an ego. Too much of an ego. An ego. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Because like really we all just were like lucky to be chosen to be on the show. It was like yeah. a, we got lucky, really. Yeah. We didn't do anything that life changing. So who has the biggest ego? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna drink because I'm not, it's not anyone specific. I knew that was coming. <laughs> hey, that wasn't even on your card. You just like added that. It's called a follow up <laughs> journalism. <laughs> um, did you ever go on a first date with someone in Bachelor Nation, but not want to go on a second? And if so, who? Um, no. No. I didn't. I haven't dated a ton within Bachelor Nation. Okay. There's no, there's not been any relationships we don't know about. Anything you want to reveal? Oh, this did happen. We did go out a couple times. No. Okay. I, I kissed people, but like, oh. no, no, I didn't go on dates. you kiss? Them. I've said this. I've, cha I've kissed um, a few people. <laughs> Can you give me one? I kissed uh, Dean at one point, but it was very, it was, uh, it was a very drunken kiss, <laughs> both of us. And it was not a romantic situation at okay. all. How was he as a kisser? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> was it Probably at horrible. Was it at Stagecoach? Oh, no. Oh, thank God. I haven't had any Bachelor Nation hookups at Stagecoach. Okay, great. Okay. All right. You're left behind in that area. <laughs> <laughs> um, any other Bachelor Nation questions here in our game? Uh, anybody you turned down for a date? Somebody asked you out and you said, hmm. Um, I turned, um, Eric Bigger asked me out, but I was I was in a relationship. So I just told him I was very flattered, but I um, was currently in a relationship and couldn't go on a date. She's really answering the questions, guys. I'm sure though, I'm sure the tables will, will turn. Have you ever met anyone on Bachelor Nation who had really bad breath? Actually, no. Oh, okay, good. 
kind of minty, <laughs> minty fresh people. They know they're yeah, going to they make it have, out. They have like Listerine strips for everybody. Everyone's clean. aware yeah. the makeout could happen at any moment. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, who is the biggest diva in Bachelor Nation right now? Biggest diva. Mm -hmm. Well, let's move into then personal questions oh, about you and okay, your life. Okay, this is okay. where I'll probably be talking. Um, <laughs> what is the last thing you Googled? Should I look? Can you remember? No, but I have my phone. Okay, look, yeah, sure. Maybe it's weird. I know. God, you keep That's answering true. these questions. I'm gonna drink for all your, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little catch-up drink for your answers. Oh my gosh, I Googled, I, I got health insurance. This is a big morning for me, actually. You didn't have health insurance? No. I have to tell you the funniest thing. I currently do not. <laughs> Get it? Because like I have had so much anxiety about not having it with all the traveling and stuff I do. I'm like, of yeah. all people. Okay, so you got it. I got it. That was cheers to your health yeah, insurance. Great job. I'm gonna drink to that. Adulting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's got her own line at Macy's, but don't let her trip. <laughs> We're fine, wow. though, you know? The, We're good, we took care of the situation. Uh, speaking of your clothing line, who would be a dream celebrity you'd like to see wearing your clothing line? I mean, and or, has anybody reached out to you and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe that person is a fan of mine? None of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say Zendaya or Jennifer Aniston, oh. which I saw that you interviewed her and I just... Rachel was great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's great. She's really lovely. <laughs> Yeah. Cheers to good friends. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. I'll yeah. drink to that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you about your relationship. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Pour some more rosé. <laughs> okay. So you're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have confirmed this. I've heard you talk about this oh, in yeah. interviews. Okay. Yeah. But you don't want to share much. Right. Why is that? Because it's it's something that's mine, and I feel like. I'm pretty open about everything else in my life, my health insurance <laughs> status, and you know, honestly, like I yeah. share pretty much everything. Um, but it was just, my last relationship with Robert was very public mm -hmm. and it made it very hard once we broke up, just the pressure of it. And um, I decided with this one that I didn't want that. So I okay. just have kept it private, you know, mm -hmm. until I don't want to anymore. <laughs> well, that was gonna be my second question. Will there be a point and what would it take for you to say, I do want to go public with this? I honestly don't know. Okay. Because the people who, like, I want to know, know about it, mm -hmm. you know, and are involved in my life. And um, and I think it's, there's something really special that it's just ours, you know? Yeah. And it's not, um, I, someone said a quote the other day and they were saying something along the lines of what people don't know they can't ruin mm. and there's so many opinions and people have so much to say about everything and um, I just didn't want to let that into my relationship. It's hard you know having a podcast and where t my co-host Tanya is so open about her life and her dating life and then people being curious about mine since they do follow me mm. from my journey to find love. Yeah. Um, it's hard in that sense to feel like, oh no, am I like letting people down if mm. I'm not sharing about it? Okay, I'm gonna drink a lot because you just you just <laughs> answered a lot. A guzzle. <laughs> That's called friendship. Yeah, wow, that was that was called... I felt respect right then. Okay, now I'm gonna rapid fire at you and maybe oh, get you to no. catch up with me a little bit so you could just answer or not. Okay. How long have you guys been dating? Um, over a year. <laughs> Are you in love? Yes. <laughs> There's not much wine left, Becca. I'll pour some out for you. I'll, I'll drink for you. <laughs> well, that's great you're in love. I'm freaking glad you're in love. That's Thank awesome. You. Yeah. So you're happy. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> These rapid fire just like... Rapid fire. Oh, there's plenty of wine left. What are you talking I know, about? I was, trying to, I was trying to fake you out. I was trying to be like, there's no wine left. <laughs> Cheers yeah, to you being happy. <laughs> Cheers to us being happy. We're happy. It's so great to be happy. <laughs> Gotta tell you, not always a happy love story for the Bachelor Nation folks. <laughs> so what's happening on this couch is working well. Is this person famous? Maybe. Okay, you have to drink yeah. for that. <laughs> Do you talk about marriage with this person? Um, 
No, I'm not. Okay. I'm. I'm like. I barely plan my week in advance. So you don't have health insurance. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not talking about. I just got health insurance. <laughs> Marriages. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for answering. I'm feeling my rosé <laughs> happiness right now. All right. Our last set of questions. Uh, takes you way back. We were just talking about Bachelor Nation again. Way back to the filming days. Um, one thing you wish you could take back or do differently from any of your times on the show? Um, I feel like I would wish I would have been a little more, um, like, not as scared on Christmas season in the sense of I was so nervous of how I could be edited because I'm, I'm kind of sarcastic and like mm -hmm. have a dry sense of humor, but I was so nervous to go too far on that that I came across looking like the villain, you mm. know? So I was a, I came across very timid on that season, which was fine. I mean, worse things have happened. Um, but other than that, I don't really have any, I think everything okay. kind of worked out. Will we ever see you back on television screens? Just in any capacity? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if it was the right, show or opportunity, I guess. I kind of want to see you and JoJo do something together. I would love to do right? something. And yeah. Do you guys talk about that? What would it be? We talk about it, but like it's kind of, she has so much going on. I'm mm. like, when do you actually have time to like go film a TV show? To film a TV show, show yeah. with me, because you have like three with Jordan and yeah. or two with and Jordan. And is she in the throes of wedding planning right yeah, now? Yeah, she's wedding planning. They're building a house. Oh, casual. <laughs> You got nothing going nothing on. Nothing going on. So we're just, um, we've talked about doing like, even if it was just like a fun little like talk show or something, but I don't know. Yeah. I just, I would like to have her in LA more. So any excuse yeah. that we could hang out more. Are we, I would imagine, I mean, I don't know, is this awkward? Are you going to be a bridesmaid? Are you going to be the maid of honor? I don't know if that's been decided yet. Um, She's done interviews where she said that I will be a bridesmaid, okay. but I haven't gotten an official. You're waiting for the official ask. <laughs> I told her, I'm like, listen, that's not going to do it for me. I need an official delivery to me. That's the most Bachelor Nation thing ever, that something's been revealed in an interview, yeah. but the person does. Weirdly, I saw it on, um, we were doing an interview together in an event, and they said something along the lines, I know you said Becca will be a bridesmaid, and I was like, like what? Wait, what? I didn't see that. What? Yeah. Um, is she really far into it, and are you helping at all? I haven't gotten to the point where I haven't been asked <laughs> yet, <true>. so. <laughs> um, but um, she is... Yeah, they're, I mean, they're planning it. She came out, she found a dress. Okay. We went wedding dress shopping. Um, they have a location and I think an official date set. Okay. So it's, I think, I mean, I know there's a lot of details beyond that, but yeah. it's happening. It's really interesting for, um, for me to hear you say you wish like you'd been more yourself on Chris's season. You look back at you on Chris's season, how much do you feel like you've changed since that time? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've just, I think I've gotten a lot more confident mm -hmm. and I think I've, I mean, just like any, any growth, like as you get older and you look back, you're like, oh wow, I've changed a lot. But yeah. I would say, I think a, a lot of who I am is still the same, but I do, my clothing choices have changed. <laughs> I watch back and I'm like, oh, I remember thinking that was the best outfit ever. Yeah. It's bad. Well, it's also, they've upped the ante so much now. I feel like everyone goes onto the show already having deals. They've gotten free clothes from different brands. Yeah. And yeah, it's a different time. Yeah, it's a different time. It's a different time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but you know what? You have your own clothing line now. I uh, do. What do you want to do next? Um, you know, I I love doing the podcast. Mm -hmm. I feel like we Oh, by really, the way, you just won. Yeah, you we did. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's really been something that I think both Tanya and I are very proud of, like what we've created in not just the podcast, but the community of women and, you know, the few men here and there. But um, it's very it's a very positive space. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope that we keep growing that. And maybe we're doing like a couple of live shows and so um, hopefully taking that further than, than just the first two that we have. Um, Amazing. So it's kind of been the goal for next year and maybe doing something in TV and okay. uh, creating a, a beauty product. I'm in the <gasps> works of yes. doing oh my gosh, for hair. It? For hair, yeah. because you have amazing hair. My hair is so frizzy from the rain right now, but. <laughs> it rained in LA, rude. We're not used to it, we're not ready for it. No. <laughs> All right, Becca Tilly, cheers to you. Thanks cheers for being you. here. Thanks for drinking so much. Oh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> okay, cool. This has been Roses and Rosé Sip or Spill with Becca Tilly. Follow Becca on Instagram. Check out her clothing line at Macy's and listen to her amazing podcast, Scrubbing In. Thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, great.